hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to talk about one-to-one -one functions and we are going to solve more examples on that now a function is said to be one-to-one -one if an element or value in the domain corresponds to a distinct value in the codomain now let's consider two sets we have set x which comprises of elements 1 2 and 3 now let's call this the domain. Then again, we also have another set, set Y, which comprises of elements 4, 5, and 6. Let's call this the co-domain. Now 1 maps to 4, 2 maps to 5, and then 3 maps to 6. Now you realize that each of the elements in the domain corresponds to a distinct value in the codomain. 1 maps to 4, 2 maps to 5, and then 3 maps to 6. Now if this happens, we say that the function f of x is 1 to 1, and we can represent this mathematically as f of a is equal to f of b. So if you have a function where each of the elements in the domain corresponds to a distinct value in the codomain, we say that the function is 1 to 1. Now let's solve some examples on that. So let's solve our first example. Example 1. Show that the function f of x equals 2 over 5 plus x where x is not equal to negative 5 is 1 to 1. So we said that for a function to be 1 to 1, it means that f of a should be equal to f of b. Now f of a means that we are going to substitute a in place of x in f of x. So wherever we see x, we are going to replace that with a in the function. And then f of b also means that wherever we see x, in the function f of x we are going to replace that with b so let's do that so f of a is equal to first of all let's write the function f of x is equal to 2 over 5 plus x so f of a is equal to 2 over 5 plus a and then f of b is equal to 2 over 5 plus b so we are going to focus on f of a and then f of b so from here f of a is 2 over 5 plus a equals 2 over 5 plus b now we are going to cross multiply so we have 2 times 5 plus b equals 2 times 5 plus a now because we have 2 on both sides we can cancel out 2 so we are left with 5 plus b equals 5 plus a we have 5 also on both sides so we can cancel out 5 and then we are left with b equals a which is the same as a equals b now since a is equal to b it follows that the function f of x is 1 to 1 so that's very simple let's solve the next example the function f of x is equal to 5x squared minus 2 over 3 is defined on the set of n of natural numbers determine whether or not f of x is 1 to 1 so for the function f of x to be 1 to 1 it means that f of a should be equal to f of b the function f of x is equal to 5x squared minus 2 divided by 3 
so f of a is equal to 5 times a square minus 2 over 3 and then f of b is equal to 5 times b square minus 2 over 3 so let's equate f of a to f of b Now let's cross multiply. So we have 3 times 5a square minus 2 equals 3 times 5b square minus 2. We have 3 on both sides of the equation. We can cancel out 3. We are left with 5a square minus 2 equals 5b square minus 2. Again, we have negative 2 on both sides of the equation. We can do away with negative 2. So that we have 5a square equals 5b square. We divide through by 5. And then we are left with a square equals b square. We take the square root of both sides. And then a is equal to the square root of b square. So a is equal to b and then a is equal to negative b. Now let's go back to the question. From the question we are told that the function f of x is defined on the set of n of natural numbers. Now what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are positive integers natural numbers are positive integers so negative numbers are not found in the domain of natural numbers here we have a equals b and then a equals negative b because this is a negative value it can't be in the domain of natural numbers so we are not going to consider this so now let's move on to a equals b. Now a and b are all positive integers. So we can consider this to be part of the domain of natural numbers. Now since a is equal to b, it follows that the function f of x is 1 to 1 when it is defined on the set of natural numbers. So the third example, the function f of x is defined on the set of real numbers r. Determine whether or not the function is 1 to 1 if f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 4. So as usual, if a function is supposed to be 1 to 1, then f of a should be equal to f of b. So for f of a, we have 3a square minus 4. For f of b, we have 3b square minus 4. Since we have negative 4 on both sides of the equation, we do away with negative 4. We are left with 3a square equals 3b square. We can divide through by 3 so that we have a square equals b square. Now we take the square root of both sides of the equation and then we have a equals the square root of b square. So a is equal to plus or minus b, a is equal to b and then a is equal to negative b. Now from the question, the function f of x is defined on the set of real numbers. So what are real numbers? Real numbers are positive and negative integers including 0. So positive and negative integers including 0.
So positive and negative numbers including 0 are part of the domain of real numbers. So here we have a equals b and then a equals negative b. So we are going to consider all the two equations. Now since a is equal to plus or minus b, it follows that the function f of x is not 1 to 1.